All right. Folks, welcome to the unboxing of this Power Seeker 127 EQ telescope with 127 millimeter reflector. All right, guys, let's do this. You're watching Concept featuring yours truly. Welcome, this is Bilal coming at you from Space City, Houston. As you can see, I'm sweating and it is hot. Now, you'll notice that the box is a little uh, deteriorated. Wife got this for me just over two years ago. And the first time I opened it, uh, first time I opened it, I saw all this stuff. I was like, hey, you know what? Uh, I would love to be able to not so much stargaze, but more so what I want to do, what I'm more interested in is being able to take photos with it. Okay, so we just opened up the box. What do we have inside? We've got a power seeker. Don't need that. Product registration might do that. Uh, share your view. Keep in touch. Connect with us on social media. Celestron may carry night edition, uh, starry night basic edition. What is this? It's a, it's a star guide. Might need this. Um, what else we got? Power seeker instructional manual. <laughs> and uh, this is what I definitely need. Quick setup guide. Open this thing up one by one and put the, okay, this stuff is kind of heavy. <laughs> okay, let's start with the light box. Okay, whoa, whoa. First, I gotta get everything to look like that. All right, ooh, this one is so heavy, it's been taped. That's what they are. <laughs> They're counterweights. Next item. All right. Here's the telescope. Come on. Okay. So what do we have here? Whatever this is. And then this, I assume, is the stand. All right. So now that we got everything out of the box, all right, this stand is actually quite light. So we've got this, this thing right here. All right. Okay. Ah, okay. Good. This little thing mounts onto. Yep. All right. All right. Now, this is thread the latitude adjustment screw into the equilateral mount until it is touching the side of the mount. All I understood from this is a bunch of math. <laughs> okay. Um, hold on. I can do this. Equatorial. Equatorial mount. Okay. So that's what this is. This right here is called the equatorial mount. Ah, uh, okay. So this one here. This little guy. So just thread the T screw. That's what it should say. It should say the T screw until it is touching the inside of the mount. Will I know when it touches? Oh, so this thing adjusts the uh, position of. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Locate the counterweight bar and the counterweight itself. Uh, where's the counterweight? Where did I put the oh, counterweight? Right here. Ugh. This thing is actually quite heavy. So uh, thread the threaded end of the counterweight bar into the picture. This thing is facing down. I'm probably, there you go. Yes, and then I just tighten that back up. That won't move again. Okay. Huh. Uh. <laughs> this thing's heavy, man. They never told us growing up as a kid that astronomy was gonna be hard work. <laughs> like physically laborious. Then they say slide the chrome end of the slow motion control cables into the equatorial mount gear shaft and tighten screw to secure in place. I guess this does something. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's turning this thing like micro. So this is macro, this is micro. Before mounting the tube, which is, uh, this guy right here, okay, before mounting the tube, uh, remove the two knobs on the tube ring. Here we have it, folks. The power seeker. I don't know what this is, though. Whoa. There's a little uh, reflector thing in here. Um, I don't know how this stuff works, but it's pretty cool, huh? So. These are the parts that connect to, well, <laughs> the photo shows that the tube was mounted on the brackets first and then the brackets were screwed on. So I guess we're going to do it in reverse. 
boom, open that. And now, like this. I don't know how I'm gonna transport this thing now. It doesn't seem very transportation friendly. Let's take this finger scope. That's what this is called, a finger scope. Lock that in. Okay, boom. Okay, so I got, this is the T adapter, this T mount, and bam. There's the red dot right here, the red dot, red dot. Boom, got it, clicked. Remove the lens cap from the front of the telescope. So this here is the lens cap, okay. I don't see how this thing functions though. Oh, I get it. Let me show you guys. Oh. How do I get it to go further? How do I go below 30 degrees? Ah, got it. I'm learning how to use this thing, guys. If I wanna catch the uh, moon rise, I'm gonna have to make this kind of parallel. Okay, here. So y'all notice this, right? There's a little reflector in here and uh, light comes in and there's this thing right here that I guess captures it and, and, uh, and that's how I'm gonna be able to get my camera to uh, be able to capture the rest of that. All right, got it. Roll, tilt, pan. Awesome. This right here is a 3X magnification. So if I wanted to, let's loosen up these guys. I literally place that inside. Voila, I got my uh, setup. Man, this is gonna be tough to travel with or, or literally just take out. So this is it guys. This is the assembly or rather the unboxing and assembly of the telescope. And so, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Let's see if we can catch the moon or whatever else uh, this thing would allow me to do. So I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe, like, and share with your friends, and I'll see you soon.